Hey, welcome to the guide. I'm Yo. And I'm Will. And uh, we're here to talk a little bit about Kinect Star Wars, which uh, recently released uh, for the Xbox 360 and Kinect. And you actually had an interesting question when we were talking about this before we started doing this. And your right. question was... Well, see, I know nothing about Kinect Star right. Wars, really. So mm -hmm. I was wondering, just, is it anything like Force Unleashed? Yeah, Force Unleashed, great Star Wars game. Right. My response when you ask me that about Kinect Star Wars would be... <laughs> 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 well, the, 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 no, it's nothing like that. I don't know what else it could be because unfortunately, yeah, you I, know, that's what a lot of people want, right? When you say, and like, here's the thing, when it comes to Star Wars and motion control, mm. people's imaginations just go wild. I mean, think about when the Wii was first introduced. I mean, the first thing people were thinking was what? Oh, Star Wars. Yeah, and like lightsabers with the Wii. Oh, it's yeah. gonna be awesome. <laughs> How cool is that? Of course, it was never realized. I mean, um, Skyward Sword, Legend of Zelda, mm -hmm. has one-to-one -one sword control, and it's pretty good. But that came at the end of the Wii's life cycle, <laughs> sadly yeah. enough. Then we never got a Star Wars game that had that. And so, when they announced Kinect Star Wars, of course, that's the first thing people were thinking. Cool, Force Unleashed with like motion control. Well, that's what it should be, though. Be I agree. Because Force Unleashed was such a good game, you got to play through the Star Wars saga, right. and being able to do that with like force powers just seems like really fun. Well, but here's here's the thing. Here's the way I describe Connect Star Wars for people. Connect Star Wars when you use your lightsaber and your force powers, it's more like the Darth Vader Obi Wan Kenobi lightsaber battle from Star Wars Episode Four: New Hope. And it's not at all like the Darth Maul and Qui-Gon Jinn battle from Phantom Menace. So in other words, really boring and uh, not, Slow. not much coordination. Exactly. That's exactly right. You know, see, that's why I use that description, because I know Star Wars nerds like you will know exactly <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm referring to. Yeah, to use Kinect controls for, it, it does follow your, your movements. Okay. But to actually do anything in the game, your movements have to be like very slow and very deliberate. So you don't, it doesn't really feel like you're, yeah, well, you're when doing you're, anything crazy. When you're in the heat of battle and you're gonna force push someone, you're not gonna go, oh. Okay. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. I, I got carried away and I'd just be like, oh, and not really doing anything. And then I remember, oh, okay, I gotta do like that. And you know, so, ah. so the movements have to be very slow and deliberate. Now for the force part of it, it's like totally hit or miss. Yeah, right. you can like pick guys up and it's kind of cool. When it works, it's cool. You're like, oh yeah, I just threw that guy, it was awesome. <laughs> But it works like one out of like seven times, you know? Like, wow, okay. It's really hit or miss. And then to exasperate that problem, there's a bunch of enemies that the force doesn't even work on. Really? Like you can try and force push them or you can try and pick them up. It's not gonna work. Now, if you get bored with all that, there are some other things that you can do. You can do pod racing. Do you remember uh, uh, Star Wars Pod Racer for like the Nintendo 64? Oh, I was just playing it the other day. Really? Actually. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, this is kind of like that, except you hold out your hands to steer and stuff, but nice. it plays really similar and it's actually a lot of fun. So the pod racing's pretty good in the game. Is it as ridiculously fast paced as the original? Not quite as fast as the original, uh, but it is pretty intense because unlike the original, you can like smash into other pods oh, when okay. you're nearby and stuff. And, Very cool. And, yeah, so it, it's it's pretty neat. It could have been a cool game in and of itself. You also have um, this, this mini game where you can play as a Rancor set loose in like a uh, Mos Eisley spaceport. And <laughs> it's, it's simple, but it's kind of ridiculously fun because I'm yeah. stomping around in my living room, just like throwing stuff in. And the whole point is to cause as much destruction as possible to get the highest score. Yeah, just from hearing you talk about it, I feel like if I own this, I would I'd probably hit up the campaign maybe once, but right. this would definitely turn into one of those games that you just pop in for the mini games. Yes, because then there's the other mini game which is a dance mini game where you can see Han Solo bust oh. out his Saturday Night Fever in Jabba's Palace. That's, that's just selling out for Star Wars, <laughs> I think. And it's like they have like Star Wars versions of pop tunes, popular pop songs where they change the words. Sung by the like, Cantina <laughs> band? Yeah, exactly. Oh. And uh, so, and like, here's the funny thing. There, Connect works really well. I mean, it tracks your body movements as you dance really precisely and it's kind of like dance central where it'll gotcha. show you which limb is not quite doing what you're supposed to do to get okay so that works really well and it's completely silly and like i said kind of selling out over the top 
Um, but yeah, so so there's all these other optional little mini games. There's also Duel of the Fates where you can fight against someone. But considering how well the sword play works and everything, you probably won't use that one a lot. So <laughs> so there's some fun to be had there. Does it, it live up to expectations? Absolutely not. It, it feels like a title that was made for little kids. Like for fanatical, right. cool, hip Star Wars fans like ourselves, we'll be disappointed. I would give uh, Connect Star Wars a four out of seven uh, because the, it, it can be fun. Right. And it does show potential. Y y again, we right, see, like, yeah. oh, there's some potential here with Connect, but they just can't quite harness it. And that's the disappointing thing. Um, it, but it's a game that's really family friendly. Like I said, I played it with my little girls. They loved it. They had a lot of fun with it. There's nothing bloody or gory in it. The art style is kind of cartoony, so there's nothing that you have to take seriously. Okay. And they just cracked up during the dancing thing. They thought that was the funniest thing ever to see Lando Calrissian doing doing crazy dance. Moves. I'm curious to, to see that too. So, so yeah, yeah, Connect Star Wars. Mm -hmm. It's not the Force Unleashed with Connect, which is what we were hoping for. You can read the yeah. full review for Connect Star Wars at GameAndMovieGuide.com and also join in on conversation at Facebook. Yeah, check us out at Facebook.com forward slash GameAndMovieGuide. Also look for us on Google+.